Stem, I got some new things. You should take a look. Did you meet your wife here? It's actually quite a tale. We met in a town not far from here on the outskirts of Curast. She was, well, you're not going to believe it. She was locked in a cage. Your wife was a criminal? No. They were going to burn her as a witch. You wed a witch? Let's talk about this another time. I stayed outside last night. I tried to ignore the silence, but the empty air felt like an open mouth above my head. Eventually, I realized I had to sleep. If someone was going to kill me, I was already dead. I hadn't slept that well in years. Oh, the jewel of the East! Chaldea is really quite amazing. I have never seen anything quite like it. And I have seen so many things in my life. Chaldeum is a jewel only in name, not in actuality. Uh, that explains quite a bit, uh, actually. <laughs> Before I killed her, Magda told me that the Imperial Guard had captured Leah. But at the Kasim outpost, the guards revealed themselves to be serpent demons of Belial. Then they must be holding the Emperor against his will. I tremble to think what Belial might do with Leah and her growing power. I do not understand why your fall raised the dead. You were an angel. Not just any angel. I was the archangel of justice. My fall awoke the vengeful dead who were slain unjustly during Diablo's reign of terror. There was nothing I could do. As my power left my body, I had absolutely no control over it. Chaldeum is the greatest city in the world, the seat of the Empire of Kedjistan. A mighty city. It truly is the jewel of the East. Its libraries overflow with undeciphered tomes of arcane knowledge. Its streets cover labyrinthine tunnels. It is a city of wonder and mystery. I do not know how these refugees persevere. Their situation is dire, and it seems there is little hope for them. Where do they find the strength to carry on? 
Humans are strong. Suffering will not break us. It only makes us stronger. Hmm. The human spirit never ceases to amaze me. I feel Belial in the very air. I see his shadow behind haunted eyes. Hear his voice whispering lies on the wind. He need not bring an army to this city. It is his already. Captain Ravan, the conditions out here are deplorable. Something must be done to aid these people. There must have been some mistake. I am a favored member of the Emperor's court. Ashira, the Emperor and my friend are in grave danger. I must gain entry into the palace. I heard what you did at Kasim Outpost in Arcanus. You have my thanks, and you shall have my help. Captain Ravan, this man has vital information regarding the massacre in the Borderlands. We must see the Emperor at once. Very well, but I don't think you'll find him, Reserve. Let them pass! Let's go. I'll lead you to the palace. You are bold to insult the audience with me. My guards tell me you were responsible for the massacre of innocent villagers in Arcanus. Lies. Arcanus was the dark work of Magda and her cult, servants of Belial. If you are innocent, then why do you have spies skulking through my sewers? Bring her in! Let me go! I detest violence. Gods, I leave this matter in your hands. Before more guards arrive. For your escape. Thank you. Now we need to get to the sewers. I'll explain why when we get there. have enough spirit. I need spirit. There has to be a way into the sewers from here. This 
leads to the sewers. I found my mother, Adria. She's alive. But the Imperial Guard is holding her somewhere down here. We will find her. This is just like target practice. Telling the truth. Somehow I knew my mother was alive. Always knew it. Very careful. There may have been reasons why your mother hid that fight. A well-deserved death. Could it be even hotter down here? I hate this place. Adria should be up here. Tell us about the Black Soul Stone! We know of the three that the Haradrim used to trap the primevals. What is the purpose of this one? Your master Belial has good reason to fear it! Leave her alone! Seize them! My daughter. You know who I am? My darling, I've watched over you all your life. But I never dared get close because of the danger that always shadows me. Now is not the time for talk. Twenty years ago, when Mount Ariat was destroyed, Baal, the Lord of Destruction, sought to enslave mankind to the power of hell. 
by corrupting the sacred world stone. Unthinkable though it was, I was forced to destroy it. Wasn't the mountain destroyed as well? Understand, friend, that entire worlds burned as heaven and hell fought over the world stone. Harriet's destruction was regrettable. And believe me, I paid a high cost as well. My people are shunned in many places, but we were always welcomed in Chaldeum. Something must be very wrong, that they won't even let their own people into the city now. Something? You have the sight. Tell me what is wrong. Is that any way to speak to me? And you don't need visions to see that Belial is in control of the city. The question is how? Those you've chosen to fight alongside you are an interesting bunch. Children after my own heart, flawed in such interesting ways. Irena is quite vivacious for one with such a burden, don't you think? I know you agree with me, Cormac. You'd best keep your vows in mind, or maybe you shouldn't. And that Linden, ha, he makes me laugh. He can warm my bed any night. Reminds me of my second husband, he does. Sometimes you can be strange. It is merely the consequence of seeing that which is not readily visible. I have accepted it. I did not mean it as a slight. I enjoy your company. Then you have my thanks. Although, perhaps you are right. I feel as though part of me still sleeps in a faraway realm. Time may change your feelings. That would be nice, but the feeling I have indicates that it is more unpleasant and complicated than that. What happened to your brother? Nothing you'd want to hear. I ask. And then what? I suppose you'll... Make it all right. You'll fix it up just like another one of your little errands. <laughs> Some things aren't that easy. I am a patient man. You're so noble about it, too. Spare me. We will stand together against the shadows. I have translated a strange passage from John Dar's journal. Long before he began serving man. He found a set of what he called key words hidden in a dusty legion. He writes that when he read these words, memories from his past returned to torment him. It was at that point that he began to mistrust the order, though he did not say why. I am prepared to look upon these words and risk my soul, but I want you to understand something. I know I may die at any time. When I do, it must be without a single doubt that I am serving the light. There is no sin in seeking balance. We will confront this darkness in you together. Thank you, my friend. But please, remember your promise. It is good to fight with you again. New goods today. What happened after you destroyed the world storm? The resultant explosion dispersed the light and harmony of my angelic being. Without form or shape, I restored myself within the realm of pandemonium. It took me 20 of your years, but finally, I returned home to the high heavens. They must have hailed you as a hero. Hardly. Believing my actions had endangered creation, the Angiris Council put me, the Archangel of Justice, on trial. I knew then that heaven was doomed, unless I could enlist the aid of mankind against the coming onslaught of hell. A week ago, I was deafened by the voices. Council members argued in the corridors outside my chambers. Guards chanted on their patrols and scribes murmured incessantly. Out here, there is only the wind.
The trade consortium council has always been the ruling body of Chaldeum, but it gained additional strength after the fall of the Vigeri. The councilmen saw opportunity in the rapidly growing Zakarum faith, and they allowed the fanatics to build their enormous cathedral, Saldenkal, within the center of the city. Not content to reign supreme in commerce and religion, the Trade Consortium Council aspired to make Chaldeum a nexus of learning as well. It proposed to unite the mage academies in a massive new structure, the Ashari Sanctum, which has remained a beacon of knowledge and advancement ever since. Chaldeum changed drastically in recent years when the Kurast nobles all but invaded the city. Soon after, their emperor, Hakan I, joined them and made Chaldeum his capital. Though his actions seemed audacious, he managed to bring further peace and prosperity to the city for the duration of his reign. It was all possible. I've dug up some new things for you to take a look at. I'm surprised Cain never told you why I left. He knew I was called to fight the Lords of Hell. And I knew he would keep you safe. He's gone now. Then it's fate that we have been reunited. Cain's work, your work, is my war. According to the Herodric texts, only two evils remain. Belial is here in Chaldeum, and Asmodan has yet to reveal himself. Did you find it difficult to abandon your child? What? No, I never saw it that way. She grew up in safety, while I risked my life to find the key to our salvation. It was the sacrifice that I had to make. In any case, Leah will meet her full potential under my guidance. Do you not have things to do? How well did you know Cain? For a time, during the darkening of Tristram, we spent many nights in the Tavern of the Rising Sun, discussing his Herodric texts and the varied arcana I'd collected during my travels. Had you seen him since then? Only from afar. From time to time, our paths would cross, and I would catch glimpses of Leah as she grew. It broke my heart that I could not reveal myself and raise her as my own. How did the Imperial Guard find you? I was trying to steal out of the city. I'd return to gather some things before setting out to recover Zoltan Kul's head, and the guards found me. I think I might have met Zoltan Kul once. Uh, he seemed like a perfectly reasonable sort uh, for a mage, uh, that is. For a mage? Oh, yeah? Well, you know how they can be. With the waving hands and the mumbling all the time, uh, they can be a little strange. This Adria, I sense dark things about her. She is not averse to using whatever means necessary to destroy Asmodan and Belial. She will use the Black Soul Stone, no matter what the cost. To defeat your enemy, one must make sacrifices. Some costs may prove too high, even for you. I worry about Leah. How is she? Why do you ask? Oh, no reason. She just needs someone looking out for her. This Zoltan Kuhl sounds like an untrustworthy fellow. You don't have your head separated from your body for no good reason. We need him to get the Soul Stone. Well, if you must. But I don't trust any of those ancient sorcerer types. Always up to no good. Tell me more about your witch wife. 
very funny. I broke her out in the middle of the night and we escaped. They didn't chase us far. I guess they were glad to see her go. A real boy meets witch story. She wasn't a witch. She was a mystic. Though we didn't find that out for a time. Not until we started traveling with a veteran wagon train. But that's a story for another time. The guards were asking you about this Black Soul Stone. I remember reading about it in Uncle's journal, but it didn't seem important. No, but it is. It is the key to defeating evil forever. It was created by the mage Zoltan Kul to trap demonic souls. Yes, he was a renegade Haradrim, dismembered by his brethren before he could activate the Soul Stone. His head was sealed away in the Dolgar Oasis. We must retrieve it, because if we're to use the Soul Stone to defeat Belial and Asmodan, Zoltan Kool must live again. I do not like this. We can defeat Belial without using a wizard's foul magic. Zoltan Kool is known to the Templar Order. We rescued Leah's mother, the witch, Adria. She told us of the Black Soul Stone. An artifact that could destroy the last lords of hell. I will find it. And God's willing, we will use it in our fight. Murderer. Torturer. Monster. These were the titles bestowed upon Zoltan Kool by the Horadrim. Though it cost them dearly. They killed the wizard for his crimes against nature, and sealed his broken corpse within a shadow realm. It seems they were afraid he might return. Zoltan Kool, a legend. There is no doubt in my mind he is as powerful as the stories say. But for every bit of his genius, he was surely mad. He was obsessed with immortality, and power. A madman. We will do better to leave him asleep in the desert than to call on him for aid. You have a better idea. I do not. It is merely a warning. Tyriel says that Zoltan Kuhl cannot be trusted. Do you think it wise to ignore that counsel? It will be dangerous, but you have faced great peril before. If Belial and Asmodan invade, you will have much more to worry about than a dismembered wizard. I don't like dealing with Kool any better than you do, but I see no other way. If Adria says we must, then we must. Uncle Deathed trusted her, and so will I. 300 years ago, I selected Kool and six others to form the Haradrim. He was a great man, who was driven mad by his long quest to hunt evil. Why did the Horadrim kill Sultan Kul? He delved into powers not meant for man, trying to fashion an artifact that could fill his empty heart with the souls of angels and demons. The Horadrim had no choice but to slay him. The Order never recovered. After all this time, my mother is alive. I couldn't be happier, and yet... It's still hard to accept that she never sent word to me or Uncle Deckard. She said that she wanted to keep me safe, but I... Just... Wish I'd known. Well, at least I have her now. was well under the new emperor until his untimely death forced the Zakarum priests to find a new heir for Kejistan's throne. Through a series of elaborate rituals, undoubtedly a spectacle for their superstitious followers, they determined an impoverished infant in the north was Hakan I's spiritual successor, 